Hello everyone, welcome back again. If you've seen my previous Blu-ray laser videos, you know that I've been uh, building a laser, a, a DIY laser using a PHR-803T Blu-ray laser diode hosted in an Axis module. I've now hosted the entire setup in this blue uh, project box that I purchased from Maplin uh, so they're real real cheap and um, you know they're, they're good uh, good way to start off building your first laser uh, they're not too big they're quite quite solid and uh, portable as well so let's go ahead and open it up and um, take a look and see what's inside okay as you can see this box is actually quite good quality because the screw uh, points are, are metal so they're not they're not like uh, threaded into the plastic so you can unscrew and um, re-screw these cases um, many times over again without uh, without degrading the uh, the mechanism so um, I'm using a battery pack that I've uh, I've put together on my own. I've got three CR123A batteries inside, so um, they put out a total of nine volts. I've just um, taped them together using red electrical tape, and um, obviously soldered the uh, the connections together. And they go to a simple they go through a simple on-off slide switch and they obviously then go through the uh, micro drive driver I've configured a micro drive driver to put out 107 milliamps and um, finally goes to the uh, axis module with uh, the PHR803T laser diode house inside so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on as you can see this is a glow in the dark cap for the laser diode so if I turn this on this cap reacts to UV light so as you can see when I shine the laser onto the cap it's going to glow it glows in the dark but it's activated by it's very reactive to to the UV light so I'm going to turn my laser on and put it there Blu-ray laser. There you go. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.